to shout. We have a song, it's called The Desert Song, and I didn't bring the words with me. But Richard got a tune one day, and I liked it, and he put some words to it. It's all about Israel. It's called The Desert Song. But it's got a rhythm. Oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me, it's not the beat. It is not the beat. It's a rhythm in the song that brings heaven down. It brings the glory down. It brings the answers down. It brings the revenue down. Hallelujah. God says unto thee this day, I am an awakening the hearts of many that have it, that you shall have it. I shall cause them by a great wind to come your way. And you shall see that my hand is not empty. And I will restore all that has been taken. And I shall work miracles that you have not heard of. And many of you will try to explain. But all you will want is the rain. Yea, the refreshing that comes with it, saith the Lord. And I'm going to pour out of my storehouse. And you shall see that a river does flow in your life. As you move with it, yea, you shall take that that belongs unto you. I say, yea, take ye hold of my hand. Yea, and move with me. And you shall see that it shall be a delight. It shall be like a birthday cake every day. And you shall eat the sweetness of it. And I shall restore. And my name shall be magnified. And many that know you shall be turned around. For I shall catch their heart. And open it up, saith the Lord. I shall move many like a sickle. Some like a combine. Yea, some like a great reaper. reaper. Yea, they shall take the harvest here and there. They shall be open to my bidding and to my spirit. To the working. Of my plan, saith the Lord. So open ye wide, saith the Lord. Open up to me. Yea, let thy eyes see in thy heart. Be tuned to me. Yea, you shall see the miracles and the joy. That that I am doing in the earth. Even as I said, enough books, enough libraries cannot hold it. It will be every day, every moment. You shall see the ways of the heavens. The way that I do work, saith the Lord. The working of miracles and restoration. Yea, you shall see it. Yea, if you open up to me, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 I'll give you one example. Can I do that? How many know the dentist cost a lot of money? How many of you know that? Yeah, yeah. Maybe some. I walked into a dentist's office 20, 30 years ago. And I gave the hygienist the word, two words of knowledge. And I gave the dentist a word of knowledge. And then I gave him another word of knowledge. And one of the words was somebody's trying to sue you. I'm not going into details. He said, yes, that is what's happening. And they were a Christian. For 10 years, you got this? This doctor took care of my teeth. From crowns, I even have a gold crown in my mouth. Crowns. Gingivectomies. Do you know what that is? It's where they scaled your teeth. You have pockets around your teeth. Every four months they took me in. Hygienist works on me. And I always had a word of knowledge. I'm with my eyes closed, trying to tell them what I'm seeing. <laughs> I told the hygienist, I said, you're gonna, I said, I see a little child running around your, your feet right now. It's a little girl. She said, I'm a child right now. She didn't look like it. She named her after me. 
I go in a year later, I give her another word about another child running around the court. She said, I'm a child again. It took her on my teeth. Are you listening to me? Let God go before you. Let God work for you. He owns all the banks, honey, not just your account. The blessings, the restoration. When God told me that he gave me that $1,500 for taking care of my nieces when I was 11 years old, he went back all those years of my life. Make him the high place of your life all the time. But put Israel in the center of your attention every day. Pray for Israel. You have an inheritance there. It's a priestly nation. That's why the people hate her. She's priestly. That's how we know there's a God because the Jew exists. That's how we know there's a God. And God wants everyone in this room, if he's called you there, if you'll honor her. He's made a place for you to go in. There's an anointing when your feet touch the land. There's revelation that begins to come to you. It's like it's your home and you don't want to come back. I'm telling you. Anybody know what I'm saying? Yes. I cried and wept. I said, Lord, please, you're God, you can do anything. But I wasn't ready yet to stay there. So we're going to sing for her. We're going to shout for her. We're going to dance for her. We're going to close the service, okay? But we always make it a high point of our prayer meeting. Yeah of saluting her, honoring her, praying for her peace. You've got to believe the word when it says they shall prosper that love her. The Lord told Pastor Heflin that while he was preaching twice. He's trying to share with us when God started blessing him, and the Lord interrupted him and said, I started blessing you when you started blessing Israel. So start off praying for her first. Then tell the Lord, you've got to go. <coughs> now, let him do it the way he wants to. You might be a pretzel again. <laughs> but he'll get you there. Amen? Amen. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Yeah. It's happened to me four times. I woke up in the morning and didn't know by the evening I was going to be in Israel. Oh. But the morning that I got up, I decided to get dressed special that day. Look a little better like I was going somewhere. On one trip I went, the second trip I went to the Philippines, the third from Israel, the third trip I went around the world. I went to Israel first, and God's just enlarging the trip, enlarging it. Then Ruth sent me again to watch over the ministry while I was there. Then Ruth sent me again to take care of her, the advisor to the prime minister. I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> uh, and he wanted me to bring home a suitcase of his books with his name in it. Do you know what that means? That means they check all this stuff when you take it out. They want to see what's in the suitcase. I prayed with everything in me. Don't, Lord, don't let them open the suitcase, please. I'm in trouble. There was the advisor's books with his name in them. And they didn't. The rest of the story is that the Lord blessed me to go to Washington, D.C. to decorate an apartment for that advisor. He gave me the furniture, the table, the chairs, the dishes, and everything that went with three rooms of furniture. Come on. And I put it in a mail truck. I didn't have anything else to put it in. And drove 90 miles on the freeway. Didn't even know where his apartment was. I was thinking in the middle of the night, how did I find that place? You see, God was letting me be a part of it. Of Sam Israel. He's, he's the advisor to the Prime Minister, the one that was shot. His name was Ellie Misraki. He's passed on. That's how God let me have a part of Israel. I wasn't looking for it. And I, I just thought about this. I thought, God, you let me do that. I never thought about how wonderful that was. So I want you to stand. I want you to praise the Lord and thank Him for your trip to Israel. I want you to bless her in your dance, in your song. We're going to do that desert song, Richard. 
we're going to open to God. And we're going to see how fast the Lord gets a ticket for you. Amen.
in Israel. Isn't that wonderful? Yes. Right. yes. Yeah. And I remember as a child, my father was always preaching, opening a sermon, and the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. <laughs> and I thought, what's my father talking about? <laughs> and the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yeah. And all you need to do is just read the first book, Genesis. Yeah. Read the story of Joseph. And if you've got that kindred spirit and that anointing, you'll feel like it's your brothers and your sisters. You feel like you're a part of it. It's almost like you were there when it was happening and taking place. It, it happened to me that I would just weep and cry. I wanted to go there. I wanted to be a part of what God is doing. And listen, when men rose up against her, they would almost be swallowed up alive. Because the plan of God and for the whole earth is what he is doing in this world. you got to remember that. And it will catch your heart, your spirit, and your pocketbook to go there. What is your nationality? Yes. You. American. American. I was born in Texas. You were born in Texas. <laughs> and before that, your ancestry? I was kind of mixed. Well, really, Texas and Spain. Yeah. Spanish? Part Spanish? Spain. 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 The rain in Spain is like the plane. Remember that movie? I want to throw this in for you. What was the name of that movie? Uh, My Fair Lady. What is it? My Fair Lady. My Fair Lady. I'm not a movie buff. But I just love the hats and the clothes and the way. Oh my, they spent a lot of money, but it was very beautiful. And they were taking a street girl and teaching her to talk properly. <laughs> But in the end, you know, they they took advantage of her and it hurt her pride a little bit. They made two men, two bachelors made a bet they were going to make a lady out of her and she found out about it and it was very insulting. And in the end, she said these words, just you wait, Mr. Higgins, just you wait. And when Trump lost the election, I heard that. I heard those words, just you wait, Mr. Higgins. And I thought, where have I heard that before? <laughs> where have I heard that? And then I caught it. They tried to take advantage of her, and they did the same to Trump. And all these people that he's endorsed, just about, yeah. are in the election they're winning. Yeah. Couldn't get rid of him. Come on. Right. That's right. <laughs> In other words, she was saying, I'm going to get even with you. They don't show that in the movie. But you see, they're the ones that made her a better person, and she learned how to use that knowledge. God has a way of getting in and getting out. Now, we can close the door, so as to speak, spiritually, but it doesn't stop God from getting our attention. We can close all the doors we want to, shut it down. But you know, the worst thing that can happen to people is that you don't get much sleep at night. Now, I'm not getting sleep because God's mad with me. I'm praying. Yeah. A lot of praying, a lot of weeping yeah. at night. Because the time is short. Listen, our days are short. And use your time wisely. Find out what God has on the agenda, what he has for you. I know I've kept you a little long, but you got, you got stretched. Yeah. <clears throat> 
You know, the sermon today is find out what your destiny is. The sermon should be get ready for heaven. Everything that God does in your life, day in, today, tomorrow, is for eternity. Everything is for eternity. Nobody's going to take any Nobel Prizes to heaven. Football trophies. Winning banners. Or in the book of this or book of that. It's got to be in the book of life. Amen. Only what's done for Christ is going to last. Only what is done for Christ is going to last. It's got to be the eternal purposes of God. Oh Lord, I bless these people. These are the sheep of your pasture. Lord, just drill into their spirit. These great things that you want to do. Let your everlasting covenants come alive, going in and going out. When they lie down at night, let them ask, like Solomon asked, for wisdom, for your purposes in their lives. Or let the borders be enlarged for the great things that you want to do. Let a new expectancy be there. Let them wake up in the morning coming from your throne room of the revelation of the eternal God, of the precepts, Lord of the beauty. Or let Israel be the apple of their eye. Even as you said it was the apple, and we're the apple of your eye. Let there be a greater understanding of their holy calling. Good health coming and going. Favor such as they have never known. Lord, let us be into that place like Joseph. It looks like we're in the prison, but we're getting ready to sit on the throne. A place, Lord, of great integrity, great order. Greatness of who you are, Lord. Thank you. Lord, you raised him up. You let everybody disown him, but you let his father think on the dreams and the visions. Ponder in his heart, Lord, of why Joseph was different. Or let that coat be put on us. Let us wear it well. Lord, let us be faithful to our calling in the word that you've given unto us. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. the prophetic come. I'm seeing the prophetic like a scroll. On many of you, you're going to speak those things that are not as if they were. Already are. Thank you, Lord. Lord, let a new speech come up on the body of Christ. Let that revelatory realm come that we see what God's doing on our time to spend here today. Lord, even our sisters, I looked at you, honey, I saw a nation. I didn't see Spain. I don't know why I thought of Ethiopia. I just, I thought of Ethiopia when I looked at you. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for these sisters. Thank you for the great calling on them. The new hunger in their heart. The plan or the blueprint of the greatness of what you will do to those who will call upon you. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, let them find that path of divine wisdom. Everyone in this room, let us walk upon it, Lord. And let us be like the two on the road to Emmaus. Let our hearts burn inside of us. 
because we've come face to face with eternity. In Jesus' name, we thank you. In Jesus' name, we thank you. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Thank you. 